It's now been one year since I had surgery to repair my broken collarbone. And right when it happened, I made a couple of videos to update people on my recovery process and how things were going. And I thought it would be cool to make another video now that it's been about a year. Something else that I wanted to show is that I've taken a picture of my collarbone scar every day since I got it. And I missed a couple of days here and there, but it has been pretty cool to see it change, um, even myself looking back and seeing the difference between today and right when I first got it. Um, so I'll show that real quick right here. me here today. And looking back at the videos that I made earlier, I went over a couple of the things that I wasn't able to do and some of the things that I was uncomfortable doing because of either they were painful or it was just kind of scary to go in that motion. So I also thought I'd like to go over a couple of those things that uh, I couldn't do then that I can do pretty well now. And the last video that I made, I showed that I wasn't quite comfortable putting my, my hand all the way above my head. And now I, I can do that pretty well. Um, and I remember that last time I wasn't quite comfortable going past here um, just because it does put quite a lot of pressure right there And now I can pretty easily get above here They even past that and it, it really doesn't uh, Doesn't scare me much another thing that I mentioned was the numbness that I was feeling here And they didn't tell me right when I got my surgery that I would probably have numbness for the rest of my life here um, Just to what degree it was going to be what would change over time in that video I said that I was basically numb from from here all the way up and a little bit over here and that has that's significantly decreased um, I can pretty much feel everything here the only difference is it's it's tingly basically right here up basically all the time um, and especially right here and I'm not really sure how the the nerve endings work but but this cup on my my shoulder um, is especially like that to the touch um, other than that it's it's pretty much changed which I'm glad because right right when I got it it was really frustrating because basically my whole my whole chest and up and into my arm was uh, I couldn't feel it all like I, if I closed my eyes and someone someone poked it I didn't feel it at all but now it's back right here on this spot let's see if I can, yep, found it I had a, a dissolvable suture that I don't know if it was my fault or what, but um, didn't dissolve quite as quickly. And now I've actually developed a little bit of a buildup of scar tissue. I looked it up, it's actually called a keloid. And uh, you can have it removed if it bothers you, but it doesn't bother me yet. One small bit that I've noticed um, as I have begun exercising a little bit more, especially with weight training, is I have found that it is a little bit more difficult to train this side of my of my chest and sometimes my arm too. I think that's just a little bit with having such a large cut in. And I don't know how evident it is in, uh, in my <laughs> appearance, I guess. It's definitely a lot harder to train this side in terms of force output and um, being able to lift weights in the, in the correct way. It's almost like I had to relearn how to do a couple of movements like chest press, for example, with my left side um, because for so long I, I couldn't do any pushing in front or pushing overhead or, or outside. And so I think I'm still kind of learning how to do that. And I can definitely tell in terms of exercises like that that involve my chest is that I really have to focus on innovating the correct muscles over here and not um, cheating and like using my bicep or my tricep when I'm pushing. And it's really not that big of a deal, but it is something that the surgery did change about um, how I exercise. So I think that's about all I wanted to say about this. If anything else crazy happens, I'll be sure to make another video. But so far, that's about all that I can think of that's uh, that's worthy of an update. Go ahead and check out my first four videos if you want. They're not as well as thought out as this one, but I think they're interesting in my opinion. Uh, but thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys around.